What's going on everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. And for today I want to talk about Io and Pet. And you know, they both had pretty intriguing seasons last season. As you know, Patrick Williams, he missed most of last season and he returned at the end of the season. But when he did return, he did show a lot of flashes that can lead a lot of people into wondering how he would be for the next season. And as far as Io Dosumu, you know, he surprised a lot of people. and He actually played pretty well, taking over that starting point guard spot once Lonzo Ball went down. I feel like they both are primed for a breakout year between them two. As far as Pat, it's going to be year three technically and for Io's year two. But who will have the better breakout year? So I will get into that, but before I do, I want you guys to subscribe to my page as I keep you guys updated with the Bulls content, the Bulls rumors, the Bulls news, the Bulls gossip, and yeah, I'm going to talk about it. And so Ayo DeSumo, I'm going to start with Ayo. You know, he last season, he played pretty well. He was projected to be, you know, playing in the G League, actually, because he was a second round pick. Ayo, he, he surprised people. He came in. He stole minutes and he started playing, you know, in a wing position. He took, well, Troy Brown Jr.'s minutes. And then he just kept playing and playing until he eventually became a point guard. And he averaged 8.8 .8 points and three assists, shooting 52% from the field. So for a start off year, that's not bad at all. He eventually made the all rookie second team as a second round pick. You know, he arguably couldn't have been the first team, but, you know, Iowa played well. And as far as Patrick Williams, you know, this is technically be his second full year if he's healthy. But, you know, we're still kind of as his third season. But last year, he averaged nine points in the games that he did play. But he faced a lot of obstacles, you know. He's been in, he was injured all season. You know, even when he came back, he got injured again. But even through all that, he still found a way to be productive on the court. You know, even though a lot of people could say he wasn't as aggressive, he still was able to show skills and flash what he can do. And so as far as who will have the better breakout year, I will actually give that to Patrick Williams. And here's why. So Ayo, Ayo Dosumu, he came in and he surprised a lot of people. And he played to a point where a lot of people expect him to be better just off of what he showed you know his first season he's he you see what he's been doing in the summer he's been having a good workout summer he's been working out tremendously he's been getting strong he's been getting bigger and you could tell how his skill set will develop you know year after year and you could kind of see how better he will get in the type of game he projects to have as far as patrick williams he is more of a question mark you see spurts you see flashes it's like you can't really tell how good of a player he's going to be because the way he plays is just so much that could be tapped into, so much that could be unlocked where a lot of people don't know. You know, you ask people, you see ranges from being the next Kawhi Leonard. You see ranges to people saying he could be the next Lou Aldane. You even got people saying he's going to be a bust, but you just don't know. That's why I said the question mark that projects on Patrick Williams' career, that, that can lead to him having a bigger breakout because people just don't know. And you see the flash he have even in his rookie year when he pinned DeAndre Aiden's uh, dunk attempt on the backboard to the game he had last season in Minnesota to the 20-point games he's had in the playoffs. You just don't know. It's so much he could do with his game from the ball handling that can get better to the shooting that could be a lot quicker it's, you just don't know that's why I feel like if things go right and if Patrick Williams is as good as a lot of people say he is he's poised to have a bigger breakout season do I feel like Ayo Dosumu will have a breakout season yes I feel like he's going to have a way better season next season he's going to play good but I just feel like if things go right for Patrick you know and he has the higher ceiling then he's due for a bigger breakout season. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. You guys feel like Io will have the bigger breakout season? Or do you guys feel like Patrick will? You know, definitely like this video. And I'm going to holler at you guys later. I'm out.